Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the difference between classic, volume, and hybrid lash extensions. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. So, we're going to start off with classic lashes. So, classic lashes are the basic lashes. They are applied one by one. So, as you can see, the extension is just one hair. You apply them by taking one classic lash, isolating, dipping into your adhesive, and applying it straight onto one natural lash. Classic lashes are the most natural lashes that you can get. They are just an extension of someone's natural lashes. They do not make the client's lashes any fuller, they just make them darker and longer. Because they do not add any fullness, classic lashes must be applied to all of the natural lashes. So you will be doing a full coverage application of 100% of the natural lashes. Classic lash trays are determined by the diameter. Diameter means the thickness of the lash. Classic lashes are either 0 0.15, 0 0.18, 0 0.20, or 0 0.25. If you have any further questions on classic, I have a whole video on my channel. Next, we'll be doing hybrid lashes. So hybrid lashes are a mix of hybrid fans and classic lashes. So as you can tell, it's a little bit more full than your normal classic lashes. Classic lashes are good for clients that want a very natural appeal. Hybrid lashes are good for clients that want a step above classic, but still not too dramatic. Hybrid lashes are done by doing 50% classic lashes and 50% hybrid fans. You create your hybrid fans using volume lash trays. So you will be using the diameters either 0 0.03, 0 0.05, or 0 0.07 to create your hybrid fans. It doesn't matter whether you do your hybrid fans first, your classic lashes first, or you do them at the same time. As long as you cover half of the lashes with hybrid fans and half of the lashes with classic lashes, you will still have a hybrid set. Remember not to make your fans too big. You want to make them a little bit small so that you don't get too full of a lash set. Clients that want hybrid lashes still want to appear with a very subtle look. No matter if the client is getting classic lashes, hybrid lashes, or volume lashes, they can get it in any length that they want. Length does not determine the style. Only thickness does. A lot of people are under the impression that classic lashes can only be done with short lashes and same for hybrid. This is not true. The lashes can be done in any length. It is up to the client to determine what length that they would want. And volume lashes can also be done with short lashes. They do not have to be done with long lashes. So you just want to make sure that you're asking your client what length they would prefer, whether they would want short lashes, medium lashes, or long lashes, no matter what style they're getting. If a client is unsure what length they want, make sure you show them the lash trays so they can see about how long the lashes would be and let them determine from there. As I stated before, Hybrid lashes should be 100% full coverage, so just make sure that you're filling up all the natural lashes and not stopping until they're all full. Again, you'll be mixing between hybrid fans and classic lashes the whole time. Next, we will be doing volume lashes. Volume lashes are 100% volume lash fans, so you will have to create fans using volume lash trays and apply them to one natural lash. Your fan should be about this size. 
You don't want too big of a fan because you don't want to create a mega volume appearance, but you don't want too small of a fan because you don't want to create a hybrid lash appearance. So the fan should be about this size, which is medium size in my opinion. And then you are going to isolate, dip in your glue, and then you are going to apply it to one natural lash. No matter what style you're doing, classic, hybrid, or volume, you will be applying one lash to one natural lash or one fan to one natural lash. You will never in any case be applying to multiple natural lashes. If you do so, this will cause extreme damage to the natural lashes. You want to make sure you're isolating properly so that you never cause damage. Lashes have a growth cycle. And if one lash gets stuck to another lash that's not ready to grow out and the other one is, it could rip that lash out and cause extreme damage. So if you're unsure how to isolate or how to place, make sure you're taking a proper course. I do offer online training. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and click the link below and sign in. If not, please make sure you're looking up somebody in your area and taking a one-on-one -on -one or group training. This is not proper training. You need to take a thorough lash class. But back to the video. Make sure you're isolating properly like this, getting one lash all by itself, spreading your tweezers wide, dipping in your glue, and applying to one natural lash. When you're doing volume lashes, you do not have to cover 100% of the natural lashes like you do with classic and volume lashes. You just have to lash until the lashes are full. I can always tell when I'm done by taking my mirror and looking what it would look like when the client's eyes is open. Just make sure there's no gaps. As long as there are no gaps, then you're done. No matter if you're doing classic lashes, hybrid lashes, or volume lashes, they're all applied the same way. They're all applied to one natural lash by isolating, dipping in your adhesive, and applying the extension. The only difference is based off of what lash you're using, whether you're using a classic lash, a hybrid fan, or a volume fan. Please keep in mind that you should always just be applying to one natural lash. I cannot stress this enough. We want to make sure that we're saving people's natural lashes and never causing any damage. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. I hope this helped you understand the difference between classic, hybrid, and volume lashes.